Hey guys, Slush Films here, and today I'll be bringing you another tutorial on the Java programming language. This is going to be 8th one, and today we're going to be learning how to make a basic calculator. Uh, I think you're, a lot of you are going to be excited because actually, uh, right now, we're going to be learning how to actually apply the things you learned into a real life situation. So, uh, yeah, so let's get started. So, before we actually start, we need to import a, the scanner, uh, the scanner, because we need to uh, get the data uh, that the numbers that the user wants to add. Uh, and when I mean basic calculator, I mean basic calculator because this calculator is only going to have addition in it, and it's only going to be within two numbers. So let's first import the java.util.scanner, and that was pretty simple. And then uh, we need to initialize the scanner. So scanner input it's called something input equals new scanner bracket system dot in all right so once we initialize that we need to make the menu so system dot out dot print type your first number all right so we have we asked the user something but we have no uh, input for it so let's make a variable so uh, it could be stored in it now for this we're not going to be using an integer because the user might uh, put in um, put in a number that uh, that's a decimal so it can be like 100.5 but an integer cannot uh, store that data so we're going to be making a double if you guys remember uh, this is a very very long floating point number so let's call this numb and equal it to input dot next double. Before I think we use dot next line or dot next uh, int or something like that. But for double, you need to do dot next double. So once we created the uh, storing data for that number, uh, say he types in ten, then it'll be stored. Ten will be stored in numb. All right. Next, we need to print out uh, type your second number because we need two numbers to add together alright so once we create that we do the same thing except we make a different variable to be stored in pretty simple so now we have it stored in num and num2 now we have to create another variable called answer and this is going to be uh, storing num plus num2 because we need to uh, use addition so once we created the variable that holds num plus num2 we have to print it out print the answer out and we're just going to type in your answer is and then we're going to do plus uh, answer because that's the variable we, have, we, we hold so um, once we do that, we have to add uh, a period because then it'll look actually like a real sentence. So we save this and let's run it. And it says type your first number and I'm going to do 100.5. The next one, uh, 40. So now it says your answer is 140.5 because 100.5 plus 40 is of course 140.5. So that was pretty simple. Um, I know it was a pretty simple calculator, but it will uh, train you for later and harder uh, things we need to do cover later on. So just to review, we first imported the scanner, pretty simple. Then we uh, initialized the scanner into a variable called input, and then we just asked the user to type your first number, and we uh, created double because we needed a longer than an integer because he might have put in a decimal in and then we stored it in num and we did the same here uh, thing here so it was a second number and we stored in num2 and then we made uh, a variable called answer which stored num plus num2 because it's addition and then we just printed it out it's pretty simple guys um, I hope you liked this tutorial this, this was the 8th one
and just to make a basic calculator. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, subscribing really helps me out because the more subscribers I have, the more followers I have, and then the more views I get on each of my videos. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.